Okay, here's our set of enchantments. Stasis. I sometimes feel like a real numpty playing this card, but it can lock down the board, it can get other players on side, but a group hug, you know, just say, I'll just let it stay there for a couple of turns until people draw into something which can deal with something which is on the board, say, like Dark Steel Colossus or any other of those ridiculous cards that people insist on playing. Uh, Dictator Crufix, it's really important that you're drawing into the good stuff in this deck. Um, and that allows you to do that. Leyline of Anticipation, uh, you can cast non-land cards as though they had flash, that's great. If you've got Prophet of Crufix out, um, you're then just casting cards as you draw them. Sunken Hope, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player returns a creature he or she controls to its owner's hand. Um, this is really good with your Enter the Battlefield effects, even if it's just your elf which helps you draw cards. Or you can start using the Brutalizer Exarch just to hunt for creatures for yourself or uh, start tucking opponents, uh, non-creatures. Yeah, Primeval Bounty can just be really funny. I like the plus one plus one counters on this. You also gain life. You can start generating beasts. I noticed in playing this deck that sometimes I just don't have enough soldiers on the ground. So Primeval Bounty helps me uh, a little bit by creating tokens and spawning grounds. Really like this card. Uh, it seems quite expensive at 6 and 2 green, but uh, you put it onto a land and you tap that land and put a 5-5 five, five green beast token with trample onto the battlefield. What with Fate Stitcher and with uh, Curious Follower and the Satyr, you can start creating loads of 5-5 five, five tokens. It's really funny, really funny. Um, it just makes you a little bit stronger if you need to be. It's not necessarily a win condition I'd want to use because this deck should be about creating something huge and monstrous. Um, talking about huge and monstrous, I'll probably mention this in another video, but it was Pelucranos for 230, the uh, the monstrify effect. Just cleared the board. I think I scooped after I did that because the game had been going on for hours, but it just allows you to do silly things like that and I think that's one of the joys of EDH. Think of something silly, try and think of a way of doing it and then hunt through your files of cards, your boxes of cards, see if you've got the cards. Try and come up with those completely ridiculous combos. Anyway, uh, next up we're moving on to artifacts.